Let me gather myself. These are uh, chocolate brothers hey, from another mother. Up, you know hey, yo, 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 this man. brother that shit gave me so much love in every record. And I appreciate it. You know it. what I'm saying? And I appreciate it. Baby, appreciate we you, done man. had lunch. Yeah, yeah. We gonna get you and your little dog too. Mm. And congratulations, young Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Run as fast as Cassie did. Sometimes I get the urge to respond to them, and I respond in a very classy, loving way. Several celebrities have come forward to share their horrifying experiences involving none other than music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. While Diddy has built an empire in the music and entertainment world, these accounts shed light on a side of him that many were unaware of. You won't believe what went down in a recent interview with the baby. He spilled some jaw-dropping details about his experiences at Diddy's infamous parties. We've all heard rumors about the shady stuff that occurs behind closed doors at these gatherings, where Diddy likes to gather his closest pals for some wild fun. But the baby is pulling back the curtain on this dark chapter of his life. Buckle up, folks, because this is one wild ride. I just left, left Diddy crib, you know what I mean? That ain't my first time being there. Uh, brother invited me there before I had lunch with him, maybe like a month ago, a little under a month ago. And but, um... I, I had left the studio, you know what I mean? Yesterday morning, I left the studio with Offset and them at like seven in the morning, the sun was already up. I had hit him just to fuck with him, you know what I mean? Just to pass the vibe back and forth. I always end up motivated, you know what I mean? And and with uplifted spirits every time I talk to Big Bro, so I just called him. Every time I call him, he pick up too. So I FaceTimed him, he picked up, you know what I mean? And, uh, and he like, yeah, nigga, you know, I gotta see you. I gotta see you. You know, I'm like, I bet. He like, uh, pull up on me later. What you got going on later on? So the butler's pouring me like champagne. That's he in the middle of a um of a meeting. And then when I come in, you know, he introduced me, you know, to everybody who in the room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's rewind to a crazy night at Diddy's place in 2020, as the baby recounted in his interview. The tension in his voice was palpable, hinting at secrets he might have witnessed that Diddy would prefer to keep hidden. Could it be that the baby stumbled upon something he wasn't supposed to see? Let's delve into the details of that fateful night. It was an opulent soiree at Diddy's sprawling mansion, with Beyonce and Jay-Z casually mingling in the same space, a scene befitting the stature of music royalty like Diddy and Queen B. It epitomized the extravagant Hollywood parties one would anticipate, replete with celebrities and stunning guests, the epitome of glamour. However, as the evening progressed, the throng began to dissipate and an unexpected shift occurred. What unfolded that left one gentleman so unnerved and perturbed? And he put me in a motherfucking chokehold. You get what I'm saying? Which is, you know, I probably deserve it. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, and we immediately, you know, we go out back and he sit me the fuck down and have a, a, a real deal, you know, conversation with me. And, you know, throughout the conversation, you know, a lot of real deal was uh it was covered man a lot of real deal ground was covered and to make a long story short the baby recounted the party's atmosphere initially pleasant until diddy began encroaching on his personal space it wasn't just inappropriate remarks things took a turn for the uncomfortable the baby described how diddy even went as far as putting his arm around him his discomfort palpable as he divulged these incidents picture yourself mingling at a glamorous party rubbing shoulders with powerhouses like beyonce and jay-z Suddenly, the atmosphere takes an uncomfortable turn. If I were an aspiring artist, navigating such situations would be daunting. And that's precisely the dilemma facing him too, especially amidst the swirling allegations surrounding Diddy's conduct towards budding talents he favors. The shadows of Cassie's tumultuous relationship with Diddy, as revealed in her lawsuit recounting harrowing experiences, loom large over the scene. Let me gather myself. <laughs> These are uh, chocolate brothers hey, from another mother. Up, you know hey, yo, 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 this man. brother that shit gave me so much love in every record. And I appreciate the unbelievable to allow me to, to make it up out of situations that the majority would never make it out of and then still. The baby likened the atmosphere to a sudden shift from party euphoria to a bewildering state with only a sparse gathering remaining in the room. He hinted at the party's initial grandeur, which gradually dwindled as the night progressed. Speculation arose that Diddy orchestrated the exodus, leaving behind a select few, among them prominent figures like Jay-Z and Beyonce. What unfolded behind the closed doors of Diddy's mansion remains shrouded in mystery. However, the baby's trembling voice suggests that whatever transpired couldn't have been auspicious. Here's the scoop. 
Diddy cozying up to the baby isn't exactly surprising for those of us keeping tabs on the music scene. Diddy has a track record of getting close to up-and-coming artists. Over the years, he's mentored many successful folks like Justin Bieber and Usher. What went down behind the scenes during these mentorships remains a mystery, but fans are buzzing with speculation. Remember what Usher hinted at regarding Diddy's flavor camp? Shortly thereafter during the interview, Howard Stern even queried Usher about the possibility of sending his son to a camp focused on flashy lifestyles. But it wasn't unexpected when Usher denied considering such an option, given his stance on exposing his children to that kind of lifestyle. <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even been looking at it was it was pretty wild it was, so nobody it was tried to you know some woman didn't come along i didn't and say that okay i, I didn't but say that didn't. <laughs> what i did say is that there were very curious things taking place uh-huh and i didn't necessarily understand it uh -huh. biggie smalls was biggie there smalls was there Lil kim craig mack all you know, these people all are hanging these, around all, yeah man over the passing years Diddy has exhibited a familiar pattern in his mentorship of young artists, often towing the line of closeness with them. And the baby appears to be the newest addition to this trend. When the baby openly expressed discomfort at a recent party, many of us found ourselves acknowledging this pattern. After all, Sean Combs has a history, and the baby's experience seems to fit neatly into it. Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, a prominent rapper and successful entrepreneur, has also been vocal about his disagreements with Diddy regarding shady practices within the music industry. While 50 Cent and Diddy have never been embroiled in a highly publicized feud. There have been instances where 50 Cent has expressed his reservations about Diddy's approach to business and influence in the hip hop community. This is uh, this is goes on. Well, this is a little fruit, but probably a fruit pile. <laughs> in various interviews and social media posts, 50 Cent has criticized Diddy for what he perceives as exploitative business practices. He has questioned Diddy's motives and has occasionally accused him of prioritizing personal gain over the welfare of artists and the integrity of the hip hop genre. While their disagreements seem to be rooted in business differences rather than personal animosity, 50 Cent's comments highlight his concerns about the broader dynamics and challenges within the music industry. You see these little weird ass <laughs> like that out there, just sitting out there for no reason. You don't see be like kissing it. Like that doesn't happen by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like Similarly, Jaguar Wright, an acclaimed soul and R&B singer known for her powerful voice and candid demeanor, has been outspoken about her criticisms of Sean Diddy Combs and the broader music industry. Unlike 50 Cent, Jaguar Wright's comments have been more focused on the alleged exploitation and mistreatment of artists within the industry, and she has occasionally referenced Diddy in her critiques. Wright has shared various anecdotes and personal experiences to shed light on what she perceives as the darker aspects of the music business. She has spoken about witnessing artists being taken advantage of, subjected to unfair contracts, and experiencing emotional and psychological distress due to the pressures and demands of the industry. She has mentioned him in the context of discussing the challenges faced by artists under the current industry structure. But when you think about Kim, I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. In her public statements, Jaguar Wright has emphasized the need for transparency, fairness, and reform within the music industry. She believes that artists deserve better protection, support, and respect, and her insights provide valuable perspective on the difficulties faced by many in navigating the music industry's complex and often unforgiving landscape. Now the question arises, what's the deal with Diddy's boundaries? Is his close involvement just a method of bonding, or is there something deeper at play? This incident isn't isolated. Others have also spoken out about feeling exploited and invaded by Diddy's personal space in the past. Young Miami is unexpectedly caught up in a whirlwind reminiscent of the baby's recent controversy, all stemming from swirling accusations involving Diddy. What initially seemed like Diddy's drama has now roped in everyone in his inner circle, including Young Miami. For the uninitiated, Young Miami was once associated with Diddy. Now, speculations are rife that Miami is facing a backlash of considerable proportions, mirroring Diddy's own predicament. It's hardly a shocker considering Diddy's significant influence and Miami's close affiliations with him. Some pundits theorize that any questionable actions attributed to Miami likely lead back to Diddy himself, tarnishing his reputation in the process. 
It appears that young Miami is experiencing intense emotional distress, perhaps even more so than anticipated. What's intriguing is the reaction from Combs towards young Miami, hinting at something unforgettable she did. Leaked footage has surfaced, promising to reveal all the juicy details. You back in your bag. I'm back in my bag. Stay in your bag. Stay in like your you bag. Could, you know you could fall out your bag. But you can get back in it though too. But before delving into that, let's meet Gina Huyn, a model who once dated Diddy and allegedly faced even more turmoil than the baby did. You might recall Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, but did you know she wasn't the only ex dealing with the aftermath of dating him? Enter Gina Huyn, who has come forward with shocking claims about her tumultuous five-year relationship with the music mogul. In a recent resurfaced interview from 2019, she detailed instances of alleged violence during their time together. Gina, who reportedly dated Diddy during his on-and-off phase with Cassie, recounted a particularly disturbing encounter, shedding light on the darker side of their relationship. According to her account, she alleges that he caused severe injuries during an encounter, resulting in damage to her head, stomach, and chest. Another incident occurred when he caught her texting another man in Miami, escalating the situation dramatically. Let me paint the picture. They were upstairs in a walk-in closet when he pushed her to the ground. You know, kill him with kindness. And they literally switch up. They switch up every time when you, like, reply messages with love. It's weird. She claims he then stood over her, repeatedly punching the side of her head while she tried to shield herself. Adding to the turmoil, she revealed that he compared her unfavorably to Cassie, labeling her as the bad one and Cassie as the good one. Shockingly, she disclosed that everyone in their social circle witnessed these alleged altercations happening multiple times without intervening. In a startling revelation, she disclosed that when she became pregnant with Diddy's child, he offered her $50,000 to terminate the pregnancy. Gina's revelation about her second abortion within their relationship has ignited a storm of controversy, particularly in the wake of Cassie's recent lawsuit against Sean Combs of reprehensible behavior. As of now, Combs has chosen not to publicly address Gina's assertions, seemingly recognizing the futility of attempting to defend himself. It's probable he'll defer to his legal team to navigate the situation. Gina further disclosed the emotional toll of her relationship with Combs alleging he would constantly compare her unfavorably to Cassie and manipulate her psychologically. Despite this, those around them seemingly turned a blind eye to the toxicity of the situation. You may recall my earlier mention of a connection between Young and Gina. Well, the situation took a rather dubious turn for Young Miami when whispers began to circulate, suggesting collaboration between her and Diddy aimed at causing trouble for Gina. Miami spilled the beans, revealing a stark transformation in Diddy's demeanor from initially being amicable for the first three and a half years to becoming outright malevolent. I said correction, miss. I want to be an artist so bad. Okay, I don't want to be a city girl. I want real love. This is what I said to her. And she was like, I'm sorry, no disrespect. Keep going. Allegedly, Miami found herself entangled, only to realize later that she had been completely manipulated by Diddy. Some even speculate that he roped her in, convincing her to partake in unsavory activities so that if he were ever caught, she would be equally culpable. Now, reports indicate that Miami has reached her breaking point. Fed up with Diddy's control over her narrative and dragging her down with him, she is purportedly teaming up with 50 Cent to produce a documentary exposing his alleged misdeeds. The 50 Cent's production company has announced its involvement in a forthcoming documentary addressing the allegations against Combs. This adds another intriguing dimension to the ongoing saga. Following this dramatic revelation, global audiences are expressing sheer exasperation towards Diddy, branding him a monster. Questions linger as to why he remains at large, evading justice in a world that should hold perpetrators accountable. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.